So now let's see how we can work around with histogram inside of Adobe Photoshop Elements. So to access histogram, you can go around onto the more option over here on the bottom right and you can access histogram from over here. So you can see this histogram right here. Let me just close this and if I were to go around onto the uh, triangular icon right here, then you can go around onto histogram from over here as well. And you can also go around onto window and access out all of the options that you have access to from over here as well. So you can see that this is the histogram. Let me just pull this out right here and close this. So histogram is much more like an analyzer for the, uh, for the contents that you have in the editing area. So let's say, for example, it'll analyze everything out from left to right, and then it'll tell you what colors are used the most. So on the left side, you can see that blue is used the most, whereas on the right side, red is used the most. And you can see that there's um, a greenish tint right here, there's blue area, and there's more reddish tint over here on the right hand side. You can see what particular colors are used. So on the left side, on this particular area, red is used, whereas there are drops uh, under this area and so forth, as you can see right here. Similarly, you can see the amount of green that is being used um, throughout the image, the blue right here, which is uh, gradual from left to right. And you can also go around and see the luminosity right here. So you can see that on the left side, there is more darkness, whereas this area is a bit bright right here. And uh, the bright, uh, and you can see uh, that um, it ac actually gradually becomes more bright over here. So luminosity can be just as well. And you can see all the colors over here. And it is uh, taking the entire source as the uh, entire image as the source right here. And this is what you have, as you can see. So you can go around and then click on Annotate Data to get proper detail over here as well, just like this. And you can see every detail in the histogram. And that is it. So that is how you can work around with histogram and see how the colors are distributed across an image and in a project inside of Adobe Photoshop Elements. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.